welcome back to Touch by Tie Hair Co. We are in it to win it, okay? We are in another facial video, okay? You are in the Esthetician Student School Vlog, and it's Facial Fridays, all right? So I wanted to show you guys my setup, how we get down, what we're doing. So today, for Facial Fridays, uh, we're going in to do a full 60-minute facial, okay, a Pro Skin 60. We're going to be using some modules. I'm going to be doing some extractions, and I'm going to be talking during the entirety of this video. The reason why is because I made a few mistakes, and I do want to talk about them. Because if I'm going to be putting these videos and things on the platform, I want to show that I'm still a student. I'm still learning. This is my purpose for being an esthetician school. But I also want to tell you guys the right things to do. Okay. So I made one huge boo-boo in completing this procedure. Okay. Completing this facial and in recording. So I wanted to talk about it so that I'm not just showing you guys what I'm doing, but I'm also making sure I give the correct information, okay? So um, we're getting started. This is my client, Chantel. She is also my classmate. Today, she is my client. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of knowledge about her skin. So she has super dry skin, okay? She's dealing with some congestion, specifically around the nose area, okay? She had a lot of blackheads on her nose. Um, this was a huge learning experience for me, my first time really getting in there, doing extractions, really getting down to the nitty gritty. I see why they are addictive and why people love them so much. Um, and I learned a lot, you know, so we're going to get into it. Uh, we're going to start off with her pre-cleanse, which is what you see me doing here. I'm going in with the Dermalogica pre-cleanse cleansing oil. All right. And I'm going to pre-cleanse her and then I'll be going in for her second cleanse with the Dermalogica Intense Moisture Cleanser, all right?
now that we're done cleansing her, giving her her double cleanse and giving her skin analysis, um, we see, well, I was able to see that, you know, Chantel suffers from dry skin. Her skin is extremely dehydrated, so we're going to give her a little bit of TLC. Now I'm going in with the Daily Milk Foliant by Dermalogica. Um, this is a rice seed, uh, very fine um, exfoliant, and it could be used daily. It's very gentle, um, and it's amazing. I absolutely love this product. It really does exfoliate the skin without causing any harsh abrasions, and it just leaves the skin with this beautiful, fresh glow, okay? It's going to get rid of all those, start to break up those dead skin cells and all the bad stuff that we want to break up and exfoliate off of the skin okay so i'm going to do this and then i believe after this we start to go in with the uh, exfoliation spatula now i made a huge boo-boo in this video okay we were pressed for time and i wanted to get this 60 minute facial done and no more than 60 minutes so i was rushing y'all and doing her extraction process i did not wear gloves now yes i'm in school yes that was a big boo-boo but the beautiful thing is that we're trained so after every step whether we are wearing gloves or not we always pump our hands with sanitizer so i did use clean hands on her face but i just wanted to you know, talk about that. You have to make sure that you're following proper protocol. And guess what, y'all? Nobody in school said anything. She didn't say nothing. Nobody, everybody that was watching me do these extractions, nobody said, Ty, you forgot your gloves. Like, nobody said anything. So this is why school is important, so that you can make these boo-boos while you're at school because you don't want to get out there in your treatment room, in your profession, and get to do those type of things. You don't want to expose open skin to open skin, okay? So when we when we exfoliate the skin, when we are extracting, when we are doing any form of heavy exfoliation, microdermabrasion, the uh, extraction spatula, any of those type of things, we're actually pulling off that we're getting rid of those old skin cells and we're revealing new skin. And that's where you get that shine and all that good stuff. So you got to make sure that you're wearing the proper PPE. So I totally forgot to put on gloves. I was pressed for time. I was rushing and it didn't even hit me until I was editing this video and I was posting the content to my social media. And I thought to myself, like, dang, should I post it? Well, content is content and I'm not above mistake. Um, again, this is in a school setting uh, and my hands were clean, but just make sure if you're performing extractions on yourself or your client that you are always wearing gloves. All right. So that's my lesson for y'all. I'm going to let you guys finish getting into this video a little bit and I'll chime in um, at the next clip.
when I tell you she was congested, she was congested. We got a lot out of her skin. Listen to this. I'm sorry. Oh my God! Yes. Jeez. Let me see the it came out your nose. Oh my God. It was a lot, guys. So in the video, you can hear me telling her, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry," because extractions can be painful, but they are necessary. And when you're doing extractions, you have to really understand your client's skin and their skin type. And even more important, you have to understand the Fitzpatrick scale and where your client falls on that scale because you do not want to cause trauma to the skin. Trauma will lead to hyperpigmentation and that is not what you want to do. We want to clean out the skin, we want to clean out those pores, but we don't want to do it in a way that hurts the skin. We want to take care of the skin, we want to level on the skin. So you really have to make sure that you know what you're doing when you're doing extractions, especially if you are using a tool. So you can see how red her nose was, right? So I decided at that point, okay, you've had enough. Your skin is telling me, hey, this is enough. And so we have to stop. As you can see, she falls about maybe a four on the Fitzpatrick scale. So she's very easy to bruise and, 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 and cause sensitivity or make her skin sensitize. And that was not something that I wanted to do because we were doing such an extreme exfoliation on her skin as her skin needed it. So here we're going in. This is the microderm. This is just a handheld microderm abrasion machine. We do have um, the industrial size or the professional size machines in the school, but this is her personal microderm machine. And so I went in paying special attention to her congested areas, which were her nose and under her chin. And I also did one pass around her um, entire face. So I will let you guys get back into the video and make sure, okay, you wear gloves during extractions or any type of resurfacing. Don't do what I did. Don't be in such a rush, okay? So make sure you wear gloves, wear gloves. <laughs> Oh my God. I gotta show the camera. No man. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it.
okay, Angel, so you're not going to kill me because I totally forgot to record her last part of her dermal layering, which was applying her moisturizer in her SPF. So we did apply moisturizer and SPF on her. However, I did not get it on video. So this is going to conclude this video and her service. As you can see, she is beautiful and clean and glowy. And that nose is just as beautiful as it wants to be, honey child. Books are open, okay, y'all? We I am now taking appointments starting October the 23rd. So hit me up.